Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple HTML5 web page. This video was inspired by a blog post by M. Howes, which is available at the URL shown here. To create an HTML5 web page, first create a blank text document and save it with the name index.html. Here's the web page we'll be analyzing. The very first line in the document, doc type HTML, makes it an HTML5 document. We are adding one div element called wrapper to enclose all of our information about figure skating. It starts out with the div ID equals wrapper and ends down near the bottom of the page with a closed div tag. We have one heading element, h1, and many sets of p tags. Inside our p tags, we have a lot of text. We've added a span inside one of our paragraphs. Notice that a span element can go inside a p element in our HTML5 document, but a div element cannot. We also have one image, which we've included with the img element. It has no ending tag because it is a void element. We've also added one HTML5 semantic element, a side. We are using it like a pull quote. It's not necessary in the flow of information and can be moved to the side of the page. Next, let's create our cascading style sheet file and name it style.css. Here's the finished style sheet. We'll give our page a nice light blue background with the body attribute in our cascading style sheet that refers to our body element in our HTML page. We'll also list the font we want to use for everything on our web page, which is Verdana. We'll give the wrapper a width and some margins. We'll give it margins of 20 pixels on top and bottom and auto on the left and right side. This enables us to center it in the web browser. We'll also give it a drop shadow. We'll center our h1 element, but not our paragraphs. We'll also give our h1 and p elements relative sizes in our cascading style sheet. Next, we'll give the span the same color as our h1 element. We'll also give it a font weight bold declaration so it stands out a little. Next, we float the aside to the right and give it a width. We'll also round the corners of it and be sure to add display block to it as well. Here's what the finished web page looks like. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to M for the inspiration. Check out her blog at the URL shown here for other tips and tutorials with a dash of humor.